Welcome to Quick Kick. Here's your tech news, South Africa. First up, Vodacom's extended their 20 gig uh, special, more fire summer special for 499 Rand to contract customers. Woo-hoo! Previously, cool. it was only available to prepaid customers. Th- this is so worth it. Um, I would get it for the studio, but the 81 expires at the end of December, and I needed a guaranteed 10 gigs plus for the next couple months. Yeah. 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 So this is pay once 499 and they, bu- they chuck 20 gigs onto your contract. Yep. Yes. <laughs> but and then, then you've got to use it before the, the end of January. You have to finish it before of the January. 7th or 9th of January. 7th or 9th of January. Yes. Of January. Yeah. So yeah. it's about a month. But think of all the 9th guys. January 2011. Uh, and I know, Johan, you got stuck with this last year. Okay, fair. If you're going away on holidays, yeah, I burnt a couple of thousand rands on my... What oh. did you do? Okay, so if you're going away on holiday, I did a take you on device. Uh, it Buy went into a loop, so yeah, maybe maybe it's not a bad idea. <laughs> well, look, if you think uh, how used to I am in bandwidth, in a month I can I can kill it twenty yeah. gigs, easy. P- p- trying to be nice, just listening to podcasts and, and doing usual things. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is worth it. Yeah, cool. definitely. Yep. And uh, in other news, the God particle, otherwise known as the Higgs boson, may be within our grasp. It looks like even physicists can't get rid of the rumor mongers. Um, the story on the register, uh, there are sources, inside sources, which are saying that CMS and ATLAS, which are the two, two of the sensors in the uh, Large Hadron Collider at CERN, may have detected the Higgs boson at the energy levels that, they were, that, were, that were missing, the, oh, I think okay. 125 giga electron volt. Very, uh, very is this real. the same kind of thing as the may have detected some or other thing breaking the speed of light? Yeah, they, yes. they actually that may have happened, and a second batch of researchers actually have verified those results. Okay, so that might still be on the cards. Um, and they haven't disproved that one yet either. Yeah. And what's this with this? And they say that they've actually got more data out since their last release. So, so once they also release it, people can look over that data. More yeah. data is better data. Yeah, indeed. So it might also not be absolutely conclusive, but it's um, it's it, a good starting point. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's and a good middle point. Good middle <laughs> might mean Actually, that we not, don't need dark matter. Yeah, that was different. That was a mathematician. That was different to the, the Higgs boson well, story. That was a mathematician who discovered or who found a p- possible way, once again, it still needs to be verified if I'm not mistaken, to do calculations, um, I think it's gravity calculations, without the need for dark matter. Oh, cool. That was interesting. I, th- I think somehow, though, that the Higgs boson was also, if it exists, that I, I, look, I am talking expertise. totally out of my expertise, but that if it existed, there was some way of using it to explain why we have dark energy. No, all it really, the way I understand it, all it explains is gravity. It's, oh, okay. used, to, it's used to help explain why things attract one another. That's it. Because they like each other. <laughs> they love each other. <laughs> yes. All right. uh, like talking about love. Yeah, talking about love. <laughs> we're, we're getting porn channels in South Africa, apparently. There goes our PG rating. Um, um, the top TV, and there's a whole big play about somebody else wanting to also do it. Yeah, but it's like they, they basically want to be a pirate porn broadcast in South Africa, but they're pirate brazen. Porn. <laughs> yeah, it's brazen. They're like, yeah, nobody can stop us because we broadcast from France. Muha cool. ha If you want to actually listen to the whole topic, we actually discussed this quite in depth. Go watch our full show. Yep, do that. Then the big, the big one. The WikiLeaks actually singled out a South African company called Vastec and said that they were one of the companies whose equipment was found inside listening rooms in Libya and Egypt. Um, and so uh, dictators apparently used a South African company's surveillance equipment to spy on its citizens. Yeah, but I bet they also used Amer- American equipment and, and Chinese British ones. equipment. And According to WikiLeaks. American parts, Russian parts, all made in Taiwan. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, and that's, that was uh, – so I did some digging and they obviously have the um, – because what WikiLeaks have done is it's a new project called the Spy Files. Right, and basically what they say they're trying to do is to get people's attention, draw people's attention to the fact that um, there is mass be, surveillance yes. going on. And so they've got brochures of all these products um, up on, on the website, 287 files and counting, I believe. And so I got to take a look at this South African product. Current, current brochures or yeah, current. dating back? No, 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 dating back from 2006 to 2010. Um, so so fairly this, current. So this particular product is called the Zebra. And, uh, of and yeah, and it, they big claim one of their things, bullet points on their thing is it's built from commercial off the shelf components, just running their software. So, Taiwan, Taiwan, Korea, Chinese parts. I mean, it's it's just South African IP, um, and that's the software. But look, they also had the news press this week where they talked about you know, do you have Gmail? Do yeah, you are you on Twitter? Carrier IQ and um, all that. And all the rest IQ of it. Well, no, actually, Assange and WikiLeaks. Yes, where they were yes. saying. 
well, these You're people screwed. are selling software In so they words. can monitor you. Yes, yeah. And so, so it's all very interesting. But I actually caught up with the Vastec guys because the, the WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks uh, made some fairly like hardcore statements. They said Vastec is selling these systems in secrets. And not all these guys, but Vastec among them, selling systems in secret to these governments. And Vastec said, hang on a second. We promote our stuff at public exhibitions. We compete against other companies in yes. the open. If it's one thing they don't do, it's sell secretly. And so I asked them, okay, well, what about supplying dictators? And they say they, they respect all the international conventions. So if a country has sanctions placed against it, they're not allowed to sell to them. And furthermore, if the company has sanctions placed against it and they've already sold to that company, even if it's, you know, th- because normally they're a subcontractor, I'd guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, they stop supporting their product immediately. Also, what, with, what can happen with this, if you are best of brand, I can buy it as a second party and go and take it and sell it there. Um, and my, my thing with this is, before these governments, yes, they were dictators, but they were still the legal governments. Yes. So let's say somebody says, well, America is doing a whole all these strikes in Guantanamo Bay. Wh- why aren't there sanctions on them? We, why is anybody saying anything to them? It's well, because of the rest of the thing, and diplomatically, they're still viewed as a legitimate country, and they're allowed to do this. Yep. Well... If you want to be a target, you'll be a target. <laughs> if somebody wants a reason to look look into your affairs, they'll find a reason, I yes. mean, a way to do it. So yeah. just don't make yourself a target. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think the moral of the story here is just absolutely, you know, if you want to keep things private. Be paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's no... There's a special at Macro for Tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> it actually worked for certain things. It would, yeah. yeah. Well, not initially, yeah. Like Making helmet, chicken... But, nice fashion statement. Um, but I know the new passports have RFID in them. Um, so if you coat that in tinfoil, we'll stop people being able to scan it. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I think what I really wanted the moral of the story to be is that if you want to stay private, trying to use a commercial system like Gmail, even though it's SSL secured and all that stuff, to try and keep your affairs private is not the way to go. There yeah. are other ways to do it. Um, yeah, stay off a PC. Yeah, no, not, on, no, not, not on the internet. There are, there are ways, no, there are ways on the internet to do it. Just well, you'd have to tunnel smart and encrypt. It. Look, it, it's very hard. Yes. Uh, it must, you, but you can do it. Yeah, it you, can be done. Some do hardcore encryption, some very heavy s- bouncing around that you need to do. Sneak in it. Yep, there are services where you can have s- private email, all that stuff. Yep. So, yep, that's it for the Quick Geek show uh, this last time around. Last one of the year. Yep, for the last one of the year. Uh, please catch our other shows. Do go watch the full show of Let's Talk Geek. We've got other shows on the Let's Talk Network, Let's Talk Sport, Let's Talk Possibility, uh, Alti Afrikaans. Uh, do go check those out. And you can find the full sh- version of this show at ltg.letstalknetwork.tv. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>